Right, so since the last video, I've just been trying to refine the suspension a little bit. So I've, this, this was the last part that we fitted, and it worked fairly well, but it still, um, it wasn't given enough leverage on the dampers. So what I did, I printed out this one, um, slightly further away holes, and that gave us a little bit more. And this is sort of where we're at now. So it's fairly springy, and on this side, not so springy because this is still set at this whole distance. So as you notice, these bits aren't actually fitted. All I've done is just replaced them with a piece of three mil aluminium. It's just a piece of scrap metal, another piece there as well. And funnily enough, these scrap metal pieces work better than these heavily designed uh, bits there. So yeah, it's a shame this last bit here, that took 17 hours to print. It was probably on for about an hour before I thought about trying it with just a metal plate and yeah the metal plate works really well. So the problem with these 3D printed parts is where these holes are and the bolts go in, um, the hole tends to work its way a little bit bigger. Which is unfortunate but it's just how it is. So anyway yeah this is the suspension bit pretty much complete now. I've ordered some new bits of metal so we can make some tidy ones of these and I'm printing out some new brackets which are another 5mm apart which will give us that extra little bit strength on the suspension okay so then that's it so that's the suspension pretty much done and then on to the next bit okay so this is where we're up to so far all the wiring is pretty much done. We got a couple more little bits left to do. Um, the potentiometer wires for the steering. So we've got three more of them that we need. I'm just waiting for more of these potentiometers to get delivered. And then I can start sorting these cables out. And I'll be running down through here over to this Arduino. And the other part we need is the main power switch, which is going to be going on here. So we've got the connectors ready. Everything's almost done. The suspension's been pretty awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to go testing this out off-road. It's going to be pretty good. And we've also changed to the one battery configuration as well. Just so that we can have enough space to have everything down here. So we got this. Which is the aluminium, the aluminium top panel. As you can see there's a hole in it. And there's a round thing there. So the round thing goes through the hole. And there we go.